consumption of fentanyl. We regret very much what is happening in the United States, but why don't they attend to the problem? Why don't they combat the distribution of fentanyl in the United States? The cartels of the United States that are in charge of distributing fentanyl. And even deeper, why don't they attend to their young people? Why don't they attend to their great problem of social decay? So, what do you think of that? Derek Waltz, former special agent in charge of the DEA Special Operations Division. Derek, thank you for joining us. Uh, your view of the Mexican president's claim that, hey, we don't produce it here. It's not our fault. Don't look at us. Eric, thanks for having me. First of all, on February 14th, there was a big press announcement in Mexico about the largest fentanyl lab ever seized. Actually, the president of Mexico, AMLO, said it's no longer what we knew before. The small kitchens. So he's obviously lying, which is nothing new. He's protecting the cartels. But let me address something, Eric. So in America, law enforcement every day is really going hard after the cartels. Like in Los Angeles this week, 